Hello Newtonians! Product Data Management, or PDM, is another important topic we need to discuss to fully understand processes with CAD software. Hopefully, the company you work for, or will work for, already have an implemented PDM. In this video, we will talk about what PDM is and why it is important. In my videos and articles, you can see that I am emphasizing organizational skills as one of the fundamental skills that a mechanical design engineer needs to succeed in a career. So far, I have been writing about the importance of email and knowledge organization. Now we will talk about the organization of daily data that we use and produce with our CAD software. Depending on the company you work for and how many products it has, you could potentially work with thousands of native CAD files, PDFs, exported CAD files, etc., and there should be a way to organize it. The bare minimum that your company should implement is that you have a designated place on the server where all the relevant data can be stored and found. However, this approach can be messy, unpractical, and prone to errors. If the correct procedures are not implemented, it is easy to mistakenly save the files in the wrong project folders. Furthermore, it is possible to use the parts from your local drive and server mixed in one assembly, and as long as you work with it is usable. Still, when someone else tries to open the assembly, they will lose connection to the parts on your local drive. Considering that products are getting more and more complicated and multiple teams can work on the same base model, there is a solution that can help us better organize our design data. This solution is called Product Data Management, or PDM. But before we dive into that, let us look into the only server-based documentation overview. Server-based documentation management without software for data management. When CAD data is stored on a server without a dedicated PDM system, it typically involves manually managing files and folders. Designers and engineers create project directories on the server and save CAD files within these folders. Here are some downsides of using a server without software for data management. File organization and naming conventions. Without software for data management, file organization relies on manual methods such as creating folder structures and establishing naming conventions. However, consistency and adherence to naming conventions depend on users' discipline and attention to detail. Inconsistencies in folder structures and file names can lead to difficulty locating and referencing CAD data. Version control challenges. Managing versions and revisions of CAD files becomes more challenging without a dedicated version control system. Users must manually track changes by adding version numbers or dates to file names or relying on separate documents to document revisions. This process is prone to errors, confusion, and the risk of overwriting or losing previous versions. Collaboration and concurrent access. Without software for data management, collaboration becomes more cumbersome. Users may encounter issues when multiple team members attempt to work on the same CAD file simultaneously. Establishing communication protocols to prevent conflicts and avoid accidentally overriding others' work is essential. Workflow management. Without software for data management, managing design workflows and enforcing standard processes becomes more difficult. Tasks such as design approvals, change requests, and release procedures must be manually coordinated and tracked through separate means like email or shared documents. This lack of automation can lead to delays, errors, and inefficiencies in the design process. Data security and control. Without software for data management's built-in security features, controlling access to CAD data becomes more challenging. Users must rely on file-level permissions provided by the server's operating system, which may not offer granular control. Ensuring data security, protecting intellectual property, and managing user access becomes more reliant on manual administration and may be prone to human error. As you can see, handling large amounts of data manually can be pretty chaotic and prone to error. Luckily for us, there are already developed solutions for this problem. While no software is bulletproof, these solutions will reduce the possibility of error. What is PDM? Product Data Management, PDM, is a software solution used to manage and control the vast amount of data associated with CAD projects throughout their life cycle. PDM systems provide a centralized repository for storing, organizing, and accessing CAD files, documents, and related information. Some of the available solutions on the market are Autodesk Vault, Siemens Team Center, PTC Windchill, Dassault Systems Inovia, SolidWorks PDM, etc. Importance of PDM Let us look now at why it is important to implement PDM software in day-to-day -day business. Data organization and centralization 
PDM systems provide a centralized repository where CAD data is stored, managed, and organized. This ensures that all project-related files, including part models, assemblies, drawings, and associated documents, are stored in a structured manner. CAD files can be categorized, indexed, and tagged with metadata, making it easier to search, retrieve, and reference specific data. This organization helps avoid confusion and duplication of files, ensuring that users can quickly locate the correct and up-to-date information. Version Control and Revision History PDM systems offer robust version control capabilities, allowing users to track changes and maintain a clear revision history of CAD files. This ensures that modifications made to designs can be easily monitored, compared, and reverted if needed. Version control prevents conflicts when multiple users are working on the same CAD project simultaneously, as the system keeps track of changes and manages concurrent access to files. Collaboration and concurrent engineering, PDM enables seamless collaboration among team members involved in CAD projects. It provides mechanisms for concurrent engineering, allowing multiple designers, engineers, and stakeholders to work on different aspects of a project simultaneously. PDM systems facilitate controlled access to CAD data, ensuring users have the necessary permissions to view, edit, and share files. Collaboration features such as check-in slash check-out functionality and notifications enhance communication and coordination among team members. Workflow management and process automation, PDM systems support workflow management, enabling organizations to define and automate their design and engineering processes. Workflows can include tasks such as design approvals, change requests, and release procedures. PDM systems streamline these processes by routing tasks to the appropriate individuals or teams ensuring that all necessary steps are followed and approvals are obtained before progressing to the next stage. Automated notifications and reminders help keep everyone involved, informed, and accountable. Design reuse and standardization. PDM facilitates design reuse by providing a centralized repository of approved components, standard parts, templates, and libraries. Designers can easily access and leverage existing designs, reducing redundant work and promoting consistency across projects. PDM systems enable organizations to establish design standards and best practices, ensuring that designs adhere to specific guidelines and specifications. This improves efficiency, reduces errors, and maintains a uniform design language across the organization. Data security and intellectual property protection. PDM systems offer robust security measures to protect CAD data from unauthorized access, modifications, or loss. User access controls and permissions ensure that only authorized individuals can access sensitive information. PDM systems also support encryption and data backup mechanisms, safeguarding CAD data from potential threats, hardware failures, or disasters. These security measures help protect intellectual property and maintain confidentiality for sensitive designs and proprietary information. Compliance and auditing, PDM systems assist organizations in meeting regulatory requirements and industry standards. They provide traceability and auditability features, capturing detailed records of changes, approvals, and user actions. This information is crucial for compliance audits, product certifications, and quality management processes. PDM systems generate reports and documentation, showcasing the history and integrity of CAD data and ensuring transparency and accountability. When we look into the above stated, we can see that handling data with PDM is much more robust than doing it manually. Of course, certain resources are required to implement and maintain systems like this, but in the long run, it pays back with dividends. As a mechanical design engineer, you will create and use large amounts of CAD data. Having a proper way to structure and manage data is imperative for efficient work. Hopefully, your company has implemented PDM software for this purpose. Furthermore, using PDM software, it is easier to collaborate with different departments, track changes, and document revision history. Having a properly set up PDM system in your day-to-day -day work has multiple benefits. If your company still does not have it implemented, I suggest you suggest it to your managers. Depending on which CAD software you use, you can contact the local reseller and ask them to send you more info about the PDM implementation in existing systems. Also, make sure to ask for studies about ROI, return on investment, because that will certainly be interesting to your company. Did you learn anything new in this video? Let us know in the comments below. Do you like our videos? Then, 
give us a thumb up, comment, and share it with your friends, colleagues, and on your social media channels. And if you want to become a part of the Newtonians, make sure to subscribe to our channel.